Good evening, uh, Africa, Pennsylvania. I'm Steve Barry. I am uh, here. I have a special guest today, um, Reverend Mac Webley. I have a round of applause for Mac Webley. Okay, you can sit down now. All right, how you doing, mate? Today's topics. Uh, all right. Okay. Today's topics. I had a bad day, okay? Well, I had a real bad day. Well, what went wrong? We're going to cut to the Steve, chase. Well, Steve, what went wrong, mate? You got, you got top three, three dog breeds. Go. <sighs> top three. Okay. Number one, Corgi. Corgi. Number two, Schnauzer. Oh, it's number three. English Bulldog. It's my home country. I have to, you know, throw it in there. Keep it frank. Well, I could, I'd say I agree with Corgis. Corgis are pretty good dogs. No Corgis. I'm much more of a German Shepherd guy. For number two. Okay. Why would you rather have... Have you ever seen a schnauzer kill anybody? <laughs> I guess not. But like they could. Great you could Danes. train it to. Great right? Danes. Great Danes. They uh, yeah, like, but they, they're like, they're they like, like get Brontos- crippled by the time they're seven, mate. Like the brontosauruses of dogs. You ever see pictures of brontosauruses? Oh, they're, forgot they're, seeing brontosauruses, mate. They're towering over the rest of the dinosaurs. Those horses with dinosaurs, mate. I don't think that's accurate whatsoever. <laughs> Hey Mac, how'd you get your reverend ship? Oh, my reverend ship, that's a great tale, mate. So, me and my friends was talking, we were like, well, we can't take over a country, right? But like, what's the next best thing we could do, right? So it's like, I could take over the churches. And they're like, well, how could you do that? I'm like, I could be a reverend, super easy. I watched a YouTube video, as you do, find your career, right? Get this, I Google free things. I get on two websites. I start a three-week reverentry course. Mate, I, ha- I have my reverendship in three weeks. They made me the Archbishop of Canterbury. I don't even know what that means, mate. It doesn't exist, but they made me it. Hey, Steve, you all right, mate? You need some help, mate? Light is sound. Light is, yeah, light is sound, mate. We were just talking about this. Light is sound. Light is indeed, indeed sound. Light has a sound that we can't hear. It's at hundreds of millions in frequency. We just can't hear it, but it's there. It like waves. Light, well, you yeah, know, mate, you like, know how sound Light and sound waves. both travel in waves, though. Light, yeah? But they're different light is kinds of waves. waves. And no, but they're different, mate. It they're has a sound. Everything. Light has, has a sound. Did mate. you know? You know how we. We see a visible light. If no, man, I've never seen saw, something that's invisible. We, if we saw an infrared, an infrared and gamma ray light, everything would be black. But gamma rays? What's the gamma ray? But the ray human ray? eyes have evolved to see a visible light. Ah. What if we evolved to see gamma light? Oh, like gamma rays, mate. Like what made Hulk, yeah? All right, I heard you have a friend named Betty Wop. Oh, Betty mate, Wop. big mate of mine, Betty Wop. Fantastic artist, you know, of Trap Queen fame. You may know him, fantastic artist. However, um, I, I wanted to bring up Fetty Wap for one reason. I wanted to raise awareness for glaucoma. Um, my mm-hmm. friend Fetty here is known for missing an eye, yeah? And um, it, it's because he's got glaucoma, mate. And it's not all right. It's a, it's a problem that affects millions a year, including our great friend Fetty Wap. Yep. And I think it's a tragedy uh, that we're not you know, trying to raise awareness for these poor children with glaucoma. It's, it's, uh, can it's really get, just... Can you get glaucoma as a child? Mate, he got glaucoma when he was seven years old. He lost a freaking eye. Right. He hasn't had his eye since he was a child, mate. Right. It's a tragedy. Okay. He's had to live with that. What have you had to live with? Bad hair? Yeah? <laughs> Nothing, mate. I think Barry's gone, Stephen. I think he's left. Have a drink. Cheers, effort of PM. My show now. Reverend Webley. Oh my God, he's back! Oh.
F dot I am, take negative 18.7. Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Josiah. Hey, and I'm Natalie. Today is Friday, October 11th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Freshman, listen up, this announcement is for you. Individual freshman transition meetings with your counselor begin on Friday, October 18th. Meetings are 10 minutes each and will focus on a discussion about first semester classes, a reflection on your transition to EHS, as well as a conversation about possible career or future career directions. Please go to the counseling website and sign up for your time slot for your meeting. You also, you can also get there by using the link found on the Schoology news feed. Be sure to select a date and time that works best for your schedule. If you have a study hall, that would, that would be the ideal period. Um, now is the perfect time to, to open your laptop and sign up for a time slot for your meeting. Don't delay. Conestoga Valley High School is hosting their annual college night November 4th from 6 to 8 p.m. There will be over 200 colleges, trade and technical schools represented, as well as seminars on how to choose a college and financial aid. The fall plays. Peter and the Scar Star Catcher is only a few weeks away. Check out this video for more information. Ahoy there! Calling all pirates, lost boys, and fairy tale adventurers. Tickets for Effort to High School Theater's production of Peter and the Star Catcher are on sale now. The performances are November 15th and 16th at 7 p.m. in the Effort to High School Auditorium. Student tickets are $5 and adult tickets are $7. Visit the EHS Theater webpage to order your tickets today. Ye better be at the show or you'll walk the plank! Arr! Enjoy working with children? Volunteer to be a big brother or big sister through the YWCA. Be sure to check out the information table at lunch October 16th and 17th or stop by the guidance office for more, for more details. Today, a representative from Indiana University of Pennsylvania will be here at 1.15. Any students interested in meeting with this representative in the CRC, please sign up in Schoology. Now over to T-Dog with the news. It's, it's, it's time for the news. In today's news, for the first time in decades, Iranian women were allowed to attend a certified FIFA soccer game yesterday. During the bout between Iran and Cambodia, thousands of women excitedly watched on, although they were separated from the men and only 4,000 were able to purchase tickets. This occurrence may open the door for more opportunities for Iranian women in the future. On this day in history, in 1975, Saturday Night Live debuts on NBC. The late night television show would eventually become the longest running and highest rated late night show ever, and specifically known for its sketches that open up each episode. Now over to the juniors with lunch. Today's lunch is going to be, uh, wait, Korean beef, egg roll and rice, Southern chicken and biscuits, McFrada burger, PB and J, uncrustable, chicken Caesar salad, sandwich, French fries, stir fry, veggies, pepper strips, and dip. And you've also got mandarin oranges, fresh fruit. And you've got a slushy. Thank, thank you for that, Mandy. I appreciate it. Yesterday, field hockey won 4-2 versus Cedar Crest, and volleyball won three games to zero versus Mannheim Central. Today, football travels to Lebanon. Tomorrow, girls soccer's first league playoff game is at Cocalco at 10. Come support your undefeated section champions. Let's go! Now back to the main desk. Ag trivia for the day. Did you know that the average size of a Lancaster County farm is 78 acres and the average age of a farmer is near 50? This means that most of our farms are not factory farms that often make the news, but smaller family-owned farms 
that have been passed down for several generations. It also means that there will not there will, there will be a lot of job openings in agriculture in the next decade as many farmers and agri agriculturists reach retirement age. This is a great time to consider a career in agriculture. Thanks again for celebrating Lancaster County Ag Week. Attention senior powder puff girls. Colt Coach Ulrich would like you to start practice next Thursday in front of the high school from 3 to 4. Make sure you have your physicals completed and are ready to rock and roll. Additionally, there is a meeting after school today in room 137. <laughs> See you there. Hey, dodgeball enthusiasts. You're encouraged to play in the 16th annual Effort at Dodgeball Tournament on Friday and Saturday, November 8th and 9th at the Effort of High School. Deadline for entry is October 23rd, and all proceeds from this event will help battle juvenile diabetes. You're invited to download information and a registration form at www.dodgeballfordiabetes.com. You can find a link to that website on effortamounts.com or see Mr. Guy in Homeroom 129 for registration information. Again, deadline for entry is October 23rd. Each team is responsible for raising at least $126 in donations per team with a three-game guarantee. Prizes will be awarded to teams for raising more money, so get out there and get your donations for this year's Senior Circuit Bracket and help fight juvenile diabetes. Sign up for the ASVAB in the counseling office. If you are in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade and need some help making career decisions, then consider taking the ASVAB. The ASVAB is designed to help you learn more about yourself in the world of work, explore occupational skills in line with your interests and skills, and de develop a strat strategy to realize your career goals. This free assessment is offered at the EHS on Friday, no November 1st. Stop in the counseling office and sign up today. There is absolutely no military commitment. On behalf of the Effort High School Minithon, we would like to help you, we would like to welcome you to Pasta with a Purpose. On October 25th from 6 to 8 p.m., we will be hosting a spaghetti dinner in the high school cafeteria. Pre-order tickets will be available for $10 and prices at the door will be $12. All proceeds go to the Four Diamonds. See you there. Pass and uh, good, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you.